Hey, today it's a snowy night. I mean, the snowy night. Hello everyone, today we have the Aful snowy night info review. Uh, it is the first dongle from Aful, so let's see how it is. So before I start the review, I just want to say that this is a review unit sent in from HiFiGo, but all the thoughts and opinions are about to hear are my own. So let's start. Uh, well, the packaging of the Aful snowy night is very simple. It comes in this box. It comes with a tag, a thick USB C to C cable. Uh, that's it. Uh, sadly, there are no USB C to USB A converter inside the box. Uh, neither is there a lightning cable for the Apple users. The design of the cable is really nice. It's thick and braided. Also, the thick USB C chrome plated USB C endings are also really good. Uh, according to the Aful, this is a high purity six and single crystal copper material. Uh, the retail price of the Aful Snowy Night is one hundred and nine dollars. Uh, it comes with the dual CS43198 DAC chip, uh, which has been really popular recently, and many DACs has come out using the same DAC chip. Although the exact power numbers aren't supplied anywhere, like as to what it does at what uh, high gain or low gain, but in the Aful's uh, product product listing uh, it has been listed as 140 milliwatts to 300 milliwatts so i would assume that 300 milliwatts is the highest power which can be supplied at high gain uh, from the 4.4 millimeter and 140 milliwatts is the uh, sort of the lowest power at low gain from 3.5 millimeter the design of the DAC is really simple. It looks uh, really good. Uh, it has a sharp edges and it looks really industrial. There is nothing fancy going on about it. Uh, it has two volume buttons over here. Uh, double pressing that volume button together toggles between the low gain and the high gain mode. Uh, this also supports uh, USC 1.0 and USC 2.0. Uh, they can be accessed by pressing the volume plus button and connect it, uh, connecting the USB-C to the device you are using. Uh, then there is a red blinking light and it stops blinking when the connection is done. Uh, this is great for devices like PS5, Nintendo Switch, etc. It supports up to 32-bit 768kHz PCM and uh, DSD-256. Uh, there are also five basic filters which can be accessed by pressing the volume plus and volume minus button together for one second. I tried these uh, filters but uh, never really noticed any difference. So I just stayed at the stock setting which it, how it came in for the review. Uh, although Aful doesn't mention the volume steps, I found it to be around 61 steps. Uh, the Aful Snowy Night is pretty okay when it comes to drive the IEMs. Uh, but when driving the Tanzim Kara uh, via the 3.5mm stock cable, I had to use the high gain mode and almost be around 50 out of the 61 steps to get a comfortable listening experience. As for the battery life, when playing the Moondrop Chu 2 at around 30% volume via the 3.5mm at low gain mode, I got around 13.5 hours from my 5000mAh battery smartphone. Uh, now, before talking about the sound, I want to mention that it's very hard to talk about the sound and it depends heavily on your personal preference as to what you like and uh, the IEMs also you are using and also aiming this DAC with other dongle DACs. So I just want to mention that. Uh, so, okay, uh, the Snowy Knight offers a very neutral performance when it comes to the overall sound performance. Uh, the overall clarity of the dongle is really good uh, and any coloration of the sound, uh, let's say bass, treble, mids, whatever you are hearing, it depends completely on the IEM you are wearing or any EQ you have applied inside the music player or the app you are using. Although I want to say that when I'm in neutral, while it does a good job, it isn't the cleanest out there, uh, but for the price range, it does a very good job. Uh, the bass and the mids are very neutral with no coloration whatsoever. Uh, the treble, uh, uh, while very linear, uh, doesn't have a harsher edge, but they're softened up a bit. This makes it great for pairing it with harsher sounding IEMs. The imaging and sound stage stays the same and it completely depends on the IEM or headphones you are wearing. Uh, the tone on the, the tone on and the timbre uh, from the Aful Snowy Night is also very good and stays natural. Uh, there isn't any uh, unnaturalness of the tone and timbre which I found it over, over here. Uh, there is no background hiss that I heard of. Uh, even the most sensitive IEMs like the Truthia Nova or the Penon Fan 2 stayed fine over here without any issues. 
uh, now one issue i have with the awful snowy night which might be a big one is uh, talking about the led lights in the dongle tag this is the led light as you can see uh, this star shaped thing in the between in the middle uh, these are a good addition i like it but they are quite bright they are quite flashy uh, like when using it at night it is so flashy that i can use it as a torch if I, i'm not kidding it is so it is so bright over here so that is the only issue i have uh, if you're not bothered by it then that's okay uh, but i was a bit bothered when using it at night uh, especially the blue light is very uh, bright i just wanted to mention that i think so for the price they are a good buy but as for comparison with other cs43198 dongles I will make another video on my YouTube channel wherein I'll talk about them in detail so that you get a good idea as to uh, where each of the CS43198 dongles lies and what is best for you and which one should you pick. So that's my review of the Awful Snowy Night. If you're looking for a neutral dongle with a bit of bluntness uh, of the treble at around $100, these make a good buy and you certainly won't be disappointed. Uh, so yeah, that's my review of the Awful Snowy Night. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do ask me in the comments. I'll uh, help you out uh, or I'll answer those questions. And yeah, 94% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed. Uh, so I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It's free. It helps me out a lot and you can stay updated for all my reviews. So yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by for my review. Uh, have a great day ahead. Bye.